I am quite the fan of the company and I'll be going on Sunday. This Sunday, I think. Now, if you use your phone or other device on a public Wi-Fi network, your data is at risk. So you can secure yourself by using a VPN. It's dead simple. Have a look at the link on the screen to see the great deal I've got for you for NordVPN today. Hi, it's me again, and I admit some people do call me a sad person. For my fetish for a Weatherspoons, I do like a Weatherspoons because you know you can go in and you can have a pint and a curry for under a tenner. Where else can you do that at night? Now, with the prices of everything, that's why I like them. But let's face it, they're going to be shoddy lately. My local one is Terry. You go in, there's plates covering every table. There's no empty tables. There's crap everywhere. Drinks take forever to come. I was in there the other week. I ordered drinks on the app. Sat there 15 minutes with my family. Nothing. Nothing had arrived. So I went to the bar. I said, oh, where's my bloody drinks? So she poured the drinks. I took them back to the table. Two minutes later, the man turned up with the drinks. I went, I already got them, mate. And he just stood there, had no idea what to do. He goes, just, just take them then. I can't take them back. Just take them. So we had double the drinks. So we tried that trick again. Didn't work again. Shame, really. But they are falling apart. I don't think they've got enough staff. And they're not staffed by the most professional bar tenders and people who care about the industry, really, are they? But all this is just swerving around because I stumbled across this headline and on Sunday, I'm going. Have a look. Inside the world's biggest weather spoons that can serve 1,500 punters. Yeah, one thing about weather spoons, they get some pucker buildings, don't they? They get old theatres and old cinemas and old banks and they do it right. Like the carpet, because when one in Malden opened, I was in, this is how sad I am, right? I used to live in Malden. And uh, the one in Malden opened, oh, it was five, six years ago, something like that, when I lived there. And I was invited to the practice night, They like the soft opening, where they test in the kitchen and invited a people only. And it was free food and drink. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll have me some of that. And I was looking around, I was speaking to somebody from Weatherspoons there, and he was saying, yeah, the carpet bill for this place was £30,000. Like, 30 grand. On, you'd think they'd buy the cheapest crap you could get. no. This is normal. This is normal for a weather spoons. The carpet bill's very rarely below 30 grand for a spoons. And they put proper money into these buildings. So God knows how much this one cost them. Because look, this is a pucker building. Look. The Royal Victorian Pavilion Pub in Ramsgate, Kent is unlike any other spoons due to its huge size. There's a thousand square feet of drinking space and an outdoor terrace and bar which can hold 1,500 punters at a time. God knows how long you'd have to wait for a drink if you order it on the app there, eh? And I refuse to go to the bar in a Weatherspoons. I flat refuse to stand at the bar in a Weatherspoons now that the app thing's a thing. Because when I used to go to the pub, I know I'm going to sound really old here. I'm going to sound really old. But when I used to go to pubs and you stand at the bar, it was frustrating anyway when they were like three or four deep at the bar and you're waiting. But you knew you were going to get served eventually, right? Because there were professional bar staff that know who was there first. Now, they don't care. They don't even notice. It's just kids behind the bar, isn't it? So it's a crapshoot. Someone could come 20 minutes after you and get served before you. Oh, this is so angry. But the other thing is, everyone's ordering stupid drinks now. If people just drank pints of lager, we'd all get served a lot bloody quicker, wouldn't we? Now people are ordering stupid cocktails that take the bar person 25 minutes to make one drink. Yeah, I am old and miserable. That's why I order on the app. I refuse to stand at the bar and I just, it, nothing annoys me more than standing at a bar waiting to be served while people are ordering stupid drinks. Stop ordering stupid drinks. Weatherspoon's developers spent £4.5 million returning the derelict building to its former glory. They made plenty of eye-catching changes, including installing mosaic floors, hanging lights, and dark wood. But they kept some of the original features. Yeah, it looks nice. Look at the pictures. Nice looking place, right? Now, back in the day, I did take Weatherspoon's a bit too seriously as well. I think they had... At one point I looked, I think they had a thousand pubs and three hotels or something. And my plan for a year was to visit every mainland where the spoons. I made a bet with a mate, I made a 50 quid bet with a mate that in a year I can visit every mainland where the spoons. Not quite sure how I was going to work that out. I was in a spoons drinking at the time. And I made that bet and I didn't, I didn't, I think I saw like 10 or something in the end. Because that's a big job. But yeah, that's still something I'm be interested to do. But um, Sunday, what's the date today? So it's Tuesday night, 12th of January. So it's Tuesday, no, Thursday night. So that's how bad it is. I've just completely lost track of days. Still recovering from Christmas. We've completely lost track of days. So yeah, I'll finish work Thursday night. So yeah, a couple of days time, Sunday, I'm going to drive down because it's not that far from me really in Essex. 
I'm going to drive down and I'm going to have a look at this giant Weatherspoons. And the other thing, I was talking to a girl in the office who just doesn't understand my obsession with the Weatherspoons, right? And I was telling her about the carpet, this Essex girl. She couldn't be less interested if she tried. But I googled it anyway, right? I typed in Weatherspoon cost of carpets to try and let her know, because she couldn't believe it was 30 grand, right? And there's a website. You cannot believe it. Look, weatherspoonscarpets.co.uk. <laughs> I promise you, that's not me that set that up, but I like the person who did, and I'd like to go to a curry Thursday with them. Anyway, yes, I know, it was a bit of a slow news week for TV license stuff, and I like to talk about other stuff occasionally anyway. Let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below. And did you know about weatherspoonscarpets.co.uk as well? Let me know. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because that way, hopefully, you'll see me talk about something that's... That's not a weather spoon, so <laughs> ta-da.